Hi there, um, I'm really excited today because we're going to do our first eucalyptus project. Eucalyptus is the most beautiful dusky pale green foliage that is hugely popular in wedding bouquets and wedding flowers, so I paint quite a lot of it, funnily enough. Uh, today we're going to do the willow type of eucalyptus, so again we're looking at lovely tapered lines, C curves and S curves that you've all been mastering. Uh, yet another great project if you're starting out with your foliage painting. So get your kit and let's get started. Right everyone, time for willow eucalyptus, which is one I'm really excited about because eucalyptus is such a lovely one to paint in watercolour. So let's get a mix ready. So I've got my sap green and eucalyptus has a beautiful bluey colour. So, what have we got here? We've got some Prussian blue and we've got some French ultramarine. So I think we'll add in a little bit of Prussian blue because it's got a nice coldness about it. Now, what is really important um, is to have with you a little bit of scrap paper. So I'm going to bring some in because we need to be able to check, whoops, need to be able to check what colour we've got going because eucalyptus is so pale and yet this looks really dark. So if I just use the tiniest bit, oh actually that's quite nice, even though it's a little bit piney for me. So I'm going to knock it back with a little bit of burnt umber. And just, yeah, bring it back a little bit. Now if you haven't sort of gotten your head around mixing colour just yet, I highly recommend going and having a watch of my watercolour for beginners episodes where, oh that's nice, yeah you can see the difference, I prefer that colour. Okay we've got our eucalyptus leaves sorted. Um, yeah the watercolour for beginners episodes, so we'll just mix up some more of this. Um, it's brilliant because it shows you how you can mix a myriad of colours when you've only got a few in your palette, like right now I've only got a few in my palette. Okay, we've got loads of that. Let's just check, still happy? Yes, still happy, lovely. Right, now we also need a branch colour, so I'm going to mix in down here A bit of the brown. It's very ochre, isn't it? It's lovely. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of French ultramarine just to sort of make it a little bit more botanical. Just it's not quite green, but it's just got a nice sort of dullness about it. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to be using the size 8 brush here for our leaf shapes as well because this is the perfect starting exercise for eucalyptus when you've just sort of learned how to do basic botanical brush strokes, your C curves and your S curve strokes because this uh, willow eucalyptus is beautiful slender leaves. Um, and we're not even going to use a pencil today, we're going to throw caution to the wind and we're just going to go for it. And I think it's really important that you do practice sometimes just going for it and not overthinking what you're doing because the best watercolour results come from when you're just having a bit of fun and freedom. So size uh, 2 rounded point brush is going to be my stem. Now in the previous project of a painted fern I did the other day, um, I said that the most important thing is the stem. The botanical way is to focus on the anchoring points of whether your leaves are coming out or your petals are coming out. So we're going to start with a stem and I'm just going to start at the bottom, press the brush down and give myself, it's a little bit of an S curve isn't it? And, and I'm going to draw off that some really nice slender branches and we're just going to stop at that point, just going to smooth that down as well. Now we're going to take some really nice dilute colour, leaf colour here and all I'm going to do is I'm going to use my size 8 brush and I'm going to so super super smoothly paint some tapered lines in S and C curves 
off those four initial branches we've painted. How lovely. But what I'm going to do then is I'm going to find a few more places to just find some more leaves. Now the willow eucalyptus is lovely and undulating. It's beautifully curving and smooth and it's this beautiful pale colour. It's very abundant on the branch. So what we're going to do is we're now going to move a bit further up. So I'm going to find places uh, either that are from branches that we can see and we keep on building up or branches that we can't see. So one that's coming off here as if it was behind that eucalyptus leaf. Okay, lovely. And then I'm going to repeat again with those dilute leaves. Now it's really, really important that your paint is dilute for step two of this painting project and all will be revealed shortly. But for the moment, why not just enjoy painting those lovely smooth leaves? And you can see that I take my paintbrush and I actually start a bit further down the branch which is absolutely fine. If you're working fairly quickly, you'll see that all you get is the tiniest bit of a gentle blend of that brown into the green, and you don't see much of the line at all, which is great. If you do see the line, there's a tiny bit there, you can see it, that's also fine. It's really not a problem. Um, because the eucalyptus leaf doesn't have a, a massively obvious central line at all. It just, obviously has got that, that sort of vein coming up from the, the branch because every leaf does but some are really not as obvious as others. Okay and then I'm just going to do a last little branch there and if it blends in to the leaf down there no problem. All these colours are very very gentle and harmonious and these ones at the top I'm just going to make them a little bit smaller because they are new growth. Okay, lovely. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to allow this to dry completely, so it's bone dry. You can already see quite a lot of these leaves are drying because we only used a very small amount of um, paint and water on the page. Even though the paint is very, very dilute, it's not necessarily sopping wet. There's not a lot of standing water on the page. Obviously you get little deposits of when your sort of brush comes off the page quickly and you leave a dollop of water. But on the whole, it's really, really nice and minimal when it comes to the amount that we're using. To make sure something is dry, um, the best thing is to hold it up and have a look at it under the light um, and before sort of you've run your finger over it um, like this. So always check it under the light and if you can't see any shine then the finger test, running your finger over just lightly and then there's no movement, you're all good. Okay, so we're going to now move on to layer two. So one of the reasons it's so important to use your largest brush to create these leaves in a single sweeping stroke is because we want to now add a second layer. But we, when we paint over watercolour, you just got to be as careful as possible not to disturb it too much. So if you can do your painting in a single stroke like this, it just means that you're going to have the best possible results. So now I am going to paint more translucent whoops, willow leaves. And of course this time the stem is also dry. So we'll see little bits of the stem coming out. But we're just going to fill in the gaps now. doing it in as few 
sort of movements and brush strokes as possible so you can see I am just making sure that I don't hang about and I'm painting really nicely and simply and make sure that you create there's lots of movement going on with a willow eucalyptus so you can see these lovely curly leaves I did just here all it is is that C curve or the S curve that we've had a go at many many times before making sure you start with the tip of your brush pressing down and pulling away with a nice fine tip so just sort of fill out your willow eucalyptus like this and then we're going to wait for it to dry and you'll soon see all those beautiful uh, layers turning into crisp, lovely shapes and you'll be finished with a lovely uh, willow eucalyptus. So let's see what that looks like when it dries. And there is your finished willow eucalyptus. Now everything is dry, you can see these lovely papery edges on the leaves and although eucalyptus is not a transparent leaf I think this is one of those moments where watercolour really comes into its own and gives the essence of a piece rather than being too concerned with being 100% accurate. My style uh, which is called New Botanical Painting in my book um, is just that. I really do focus on making sure we've got an accurate approach that we focus on with the stem first and the leaves coming out from the right places but at the same time a real fluidity of movement and an energy with the piece so I really hope that if you're sort of starting to come along this journey with me that you will sort of get on board with that and enjoy creating beautiful pieces that have got an energy uh, to them and especially when we start putting these together in compositions with other flowers you're going to love it so thanks so much for watching and I uh, can't wait to get on with the next piece for you in our next series of episodes. So that is a super satisfying bit of foliage to paint and just the starting point for where we're gonna go next. So uh, I really hope you've enjoyed it. I've really loved painting that one myself. So um, hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on and also what you'd like to see next and make sure you've hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Okay, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.